Hello, I'm Dr. Vinita Rattan. I'm a doctor, but I'm also a cosmetic formulator specifically for skin of colour. So, as you know, skin of colour is very different to Caucasian skin. We have a larger melanocytes that are easier to trigger. Those are cells that produce the pigment melanin. So, as I always say, one scratch, one bite, or one burn, and we hyperpigment. This doesn't happen to Caucasian skin, which means that actually we have to be a lot more educated with our skin. So today's video is all about Bacuchiol versus Retinol and it's recently become quite a popular ingredient versus you know the industry standard of Retinol. So today I'm going to be going through what it is, the benefits, the side effects, how to use it, uh, mistakes that get made and then doctor fee approved products. As you know none of my videos have ever been sponsored, they will never be sponsored so any products that I recommend to you are 100% evidence based. And in fact you can go over to my Instagram channel and uh, if you follow Dr. Vita Rattan I have a whole page of doctor fee approved products that again are non-sponsored. So if you're looking for a ceramide moisturizer or you're looking for you know a cream for baby's eczema you'll find it all on that page um, and those products are suitable for skin of color. Also, if you are following me uh, on TikTok, please do. It's Dr. Mita Rattan. Also on, um, where else am I? I'm on Facebook too. <laughs> I've got a private Facebook group called uh, Dr. V Sock Family. So we're now at 7,000 and um, it's quite a recent um, private group. Uh, so in there, it's a very safe space to talk about your skincare. So I highly recommend you join if you are really interested in your skincare. Um, and it's, for, it's global. So people from every part of the a world are on there so you can ask you know um, localized questions for products in specific countries too. So I came into this video quite cynical actually when I was investigating Bacuchiol and I have very high standards when it comes to skin color not only must it not irritate the skin but also I want to ensure that the clinical studies are robust um, if you want me to do a video, by the way, on how to read clinical studies, please can you write that down below and I will absolutely do that for you. Um, and so actually I was quite surprised with my findings and I think you will be pleasantly surprised too. Um, right, so if that sounds good to you, give me a thumbs up, let's dive right in. Starting off with retinol. Retinol is a highly researched ingredient. We've been using it for decades for hyperpigmentation, for acne, for anti-aging. But it is an alcohol. Retinol is an alcohol, which means it can be irritating. It's a short chain alcohol. Um, and so the irritation from it can lead to dry skin, flaking and sensitivity. This is why it's not really my favorite vitamin A for skin of color. My favorite vitamin A is retinaldehyde. It's 11 times as effective as retinol without the irritation. Um, so it's far better in my opinion for skin of color, but it's a very expensive ingredient and you're not going to find it in many products. Um, so even my, so my second favorite vitamin A would be retinol palmitate, which is the least effective, but also the least irritating. And I'm happy for you to use that daily. So even with our power antioxidant serum, so this is power antioxidant serum. I actually manufactured this with retinol palmitate. And a lot of you said, Dr. V, we want retinaldehyde. So I'm actually making, for the new batch, the next uh, set of manufacturing is going to have retinaldehyde in it because it's so rare to find, but actually it's my favorite vitamin A for skin and color. So moving on to Bacuchiol. Bacuchiol is from the Babchi plant and it's said to have similar effects to retinol but can be used during pregnancy and has minimal to no irritation. So already I like that because the first thing I look at is the irritancy profile. Uh, for us, if we have any irritation, it can lead to more pigmentation and it's just not worth it. It's better not to use the product at all. So looking at a clinical study performed in 2018 on 44 candidates who were using 0.5% retinol or 0.5% bacuchiol, both showed a significant reduction in wrinkles and hyperpigmentation. But the benefit with bacuchiol was that there was no irritation. So there's actually quite a lot of similarities between uh, retinol and bacuchiol. So both, for example, induce a similar gene expression, which helps to reduce hyperpigmentation. In addition, both stimulate collagen using similar pathways. So they have similar structures, but they don't use the same retinoic acid receptors, which means that the pathway is not exactly the same. It's just similar. They both slow the rate of two metalloprotease enzymes. 
they both slow the rate of two matrix metalloprotease enzymes, which break down collagen and elastin. More specifically, this is called MMP1 and MMP12. So really, the benefits uh, are quite large. They will minimize pores, it helps with wrinkles and improves elasticity. In addition, you can use it morning and evening because of the lack of irritation. Plus, you can use it during pregnancy. It's actually better for you if you have sensitive skin in, in addition because it's anti-inflammatory. Um, so there are lots of benefits with it. What I'd say is avoid using it with glycolic acid, which can degrade the product. And squalene can actually boost the benefits of Bacuchiol. So you actually want to look for a product that has both Bacuchiol plus squalene in it. So there are some times that I would say to avoid it or to take a little bit more care with Bacuchiol. So for example, if you're using retinol at the same time as Bacuchiol, make sure you're using low percentage retinol, so about 0.3%. Uh, I would avoid exfoliating during the day at the same time as using Bacuchiol because Bacuchiol is increasing cell turnover and you don't want to do this at the same time as taking the top layer of skin away. It's going to cause you know, too much irritation for skin of color. I'd also say avoid using it with benzoyl peroxide because this can also lead to irritation, which can lead to hyperpigmentation. I would say it works well with most ingredients, however. So it's something that you don't need to be too afraid of using. Um, ensure that the product you're using is nave safe, of course, meaning no denatured alcohol, no fragrance, no essential oils. At the end of this video, I'm going to go through my favorite Dr. V approved Bacuchiol products that are nave safe and um, that cover everything that we've discussed in this video. In summary, I'd probably say that um, there are thousands of clinical studies on retinol and not many on Bacuchiol. Bacuchiol is more of, it's, you know, quite a new ingredient to the market. Um, and so you can't really compare something that's staple and that has been proven to work with something that's brand new. Having said that, it's not enough to dismiss Bacuchiol. Um, I think it shows a lot of promise. Um, and when you're pregnant, there's not many ingredients that you can, uh, that, you know, you can use for anti-aging. And this I would recommend for pregnancy too. So it does have its own benefits. So um, having said this, my favorite is always going to be retinaldehyde. Uh, just it's just far more effective than retinol and with no irritation and also drinking collagen so collagen supplements eight grams of marine collagen because you're tricking your fibroblasts the cells that produce collagen to produce more collagen so as you all know i literally drink my collagen every day and i will be releasing our collagen boost uh, later for you in february um but yeah so those are other ways to stimulate collagen i'm going to do a whole video for you on different ways to stimulate collagen. So moving on to the Dr. V approved products. I love Paula's Choice 0.3% retinol plus 2% Bacuchiol. Um, again, I love how she has basically used a low percentage retinol uh, with Bacuchiol. So you're basically, um, they're working synergistically, they're boosting each other, but without causing uh, irritation. So I love that product. The next one is Face Theory uh, Bacaloric Moisturizer. It's, I would recommend this particular product for dry skin because it's got parky butter and glycerol stearate SE, which um, even though it says for oily skin on the packaging, it, this is a comedogenic ingredient and I'd recommend this more for dry skin. Um, the next product I was quite impressed with is a new brand that I've not heard of before, By B Bacuchiol Booster. Uh, so this is simple, simple product, two ingredients, squalene plus Bacuchiol. So we've already discussed how squalene um, actually boosts Bacuchiol. It's got, it's nice, safe, I love it, uh, definitely worth trying. Uh, the next one also uh, was quite surprising. This is Boots Bacuchiol Serum. Um, I think I need to do a whole video on Boots ingredients range um, because it is uh, very promising for skin of color so if you want me to do if you're from the UK write down I'm from the UK do the boots one and I'll do that for you um, the next one is herbivore bacuchiol the next one is the inculus bacuchiol and there's a new one on the market from indie world one percent bacuchiol um, it's new and it's worth trying. It's also nave safe. Right, so if you could please write down, uh, don't forget, I'm in the comment section for one out of the launch of every single video, including this video. So make sure you hit that notification bell when you subscribe. Also write down below anything else you want me to make for you. Don't forget to download your free guide for 2022 skincare. The link is down below. You might have downloaded last year's guide and I try and update it every year for you. Uh, if you haven't joined our Facebook group, please do, Dr. B Sock Family or on Instagram, Dr. Mita Ratan or Skincare by Dr. B. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.